Just east of Husky Stadium in Seattle's Montlake neighborhood, work is underway on the next piece of the 520 project. Before construction started, a big obstacle stood in the way, a mile-long section of the old 520 bridge. This bridge is built over water. There's a lot of limitation and challenges. The bridge crosses through the Washington Park Arboretum, a popular destination for canoers, kayakers, joggers, and walkers. The park's shoreline wetlands are home to a variety of fish and wildlife species, including bald eagles and Chinook salmon. Traditional demolition wasn't an option here. So how do you remove an old bridge and keep the noise down and the air and water clean? The answer starts with these blue gantry cranes and the trestles they move on. The trestles act as tracks for the gantry crane's big wheels. The wider south trestle is used to store and move materials and also serves as a route for trucks entering and leaving the job site. Before crews start removing sections of the old bridge, they take steps to keep the water clean. Here, the contractor installed a silt curtain around the removal area, and regular water sampling and testing ensures the curtain is doing its job. With these protections in place, crews can start cutting the bridge into segments that can be lifted and hauled away for demolition, reducing the noise effects of the project considerably. The choice of cutting tool depends on the job. Concrete saws are used on the roadway deck. For crossbeams above the water, crews use a wire saw. The wire saw is a cutting tool with a large cable to wrap around large concrete sections. Underwater, they're using the hydraulic shear that is placed using the gantry crane. Very low impact. You can't see it or hear it, but the hydraulic shear is cutting that column. The gantry cranes lift the pieces after they're uh, cut from the water, and then they're placed on the trucks to get them off site. Once the concrete and the rebar is separated, they're actually recycling as much as they can. As more of the old bridge is removed, work gets underway on the new bridge that will carry eastbound SR520 traffic from Montlake to the floating bridge by the end of 2023. 